Hey y'all, welcome and welcome back to my channel, Chantel here in a different space. <laughs> if you're a newbie and you like what you see, please do well to subscribe. Also, don't forget to turn on the bell icon next to the subscribe button so whenever I post, you'll be one of the first to be notified. Alrighty, thank you so much. You are already tell from the title, this is the fashion rules for the movie Gangs of Lagos. I wanted to see this one out if I'm being honest because I'm on holiday and there was no intention of me working but the messages won't just stop. Everybody's like, I can't wait for the fashion, I can't wait for the fashion. I'm like, okay, give the people what they asked for and here I am filming it for you all. Directed by Jade Sola Osibero and hosted on Amazon Prime. So if you haven't seen it, go and watch it. I've watched it twice and I don't think I'm over it yet. Suspense filled every Everything you want in an action movie and the fact that it was done by Nigerian actors and actresses yo we are good I, I can't even reiterate that enough because that movie was something else but you know that on this channel we stick to the fashion side of things and we're going to be roasting or praising the guests on the red carpet for the video premiere that held in Lagos on the 7th of April that was on Friday secondly in the three major cities in Nigeria they had a watch party, one in Port Harcourt, Abuja, and the other in Lagos, which I was a part of for the one in Port Harcourt. If you haven't seen my bomb picture, just head on over to my Instagram now. I also have a vlog on YouTube. That's the last video before this one where I highlighted everything. I showed you all what I wore, every other. Like, you all know that your girl is always going to represent, right? But enough with all of that. Let's jump right into the fashion rules proper. Best thing of the event was Owen Beck and Star. And in our usual fashion, I go on ahead to define what each word means. Pretty simple in terms of definition with this one. Owambe is a party but Nigerian style. And Owambe usually marks a milestone, a baby naming, wedding, 50th birthday, or even a funeral, but it's no solemn affair. So you have to bring it in terms of fashion. We don't want subtle when you're coming for an Owambe. You get me? Gangsta, on the other hand, means a member of a gang of violent criminals. Mention that together, I would say what they meant was just bring it hot hot on the red carpet because not all gangsters have a look. I know they are the ones that have sagging pants on, leather jackets and stuff, but there is no generic look for a gangster, if you get what I mean. I think the guests really came through and put their best foot forward in terms of how they looked. The first person on my list is Oba in the movie, Toby Bakre. He's Acting in that movie was of the chain, was phenomenal. And he was styled fully by Maya Tafo in Atofo Official. He done this sleeveless satin kaftan. On top of that, you have this 4 4 long line jacket. Underneath that, he has on a wrapper for footwear. He opted for slides, leather slides. Accessorizing was done with this double layered um, gold chain, sunglasses, and a velvet filler with the name Oba inscribed on it. On his wrist he has a bunch of bangles and his Rolex watch. I personally love the inscription on both arms. It's like a tattoo thing going on but I don't think it's permanent. Looks really good. It's bringing the gangster to the Owen Bell look. I'm going to rate Toby an 8 out of 10 for this. The next guest on the red carpet is Enado and she showed up in this all black ensemble. The outfit was made by Imagine by Bukola. The look consists of this jacket that is giving me Wilma Flintstones vibes. It's a black mini length jacket with cut out details on the lower area. It's it's um, reminiscent of leaves or stuff. And then the top area is beaded, it's sleeveless, low neckline. It has plain fabric on the lapels. Lower half of the look is made with this net fabric. It's see-through. For accessorizing, she opted for this cream colored footwear. For jewelry, she opted for this dainty necklace with matching stud earrings by Bose Diamonds looks well put together. I love her hair. I love the fresh makeup look. I'm going to rate Enado a 6 out of 10 for this look. The next person on my list is Iya Bakara, but in this case, she's been bored at the Moye and she killed this look. Yo, when I saw it, I'm like, her team understood the assignment and even more. They brought team on the red carpet. She looked amazing. She represented the theme 100%. Oh, I'm bad, gangsta, nothing was missing. Alfie was done by Nkadu Meje and she was styled by Shemu. Makeup was done by Mary J. Black. The extra looking gilly was 
done by Eminence underscore Mez. She done this cohort set in black. It also has some gray, some gold, and browns. Underneath the jacket, she has on a strapless corset top that looks really nice. And underneath the skirt, she has on sheer leggings with a gun hostler. In terms of footwear, she opted for this block heel strappy pumps that looks really well and ties in so well with the look. Gele on the other hand is very dramatic. I'm guessing they used two gele to achieve this. Looks really, really well put together. For jewelry, she opted for this chunky neck choker with rose detail with matching earrings. Really love her look. For me, one of my best dress. I wish she would have embraced the look even more on the red carpet because I felt like the confident part was lacking. But overall, in terms of the theme, they pulled it off really well. Her team did an amazing job and she has the perfect figure for it. I am going to rate her for the first time in a while. This doesn't happen all the time, but I'm going to give her a 9.5 out of 10 for this. Dr. Makinwa is the next person on my list in Toju Foyer. She opted for this nude lined um, lace fabric. It's a straight cut floor line dress with long slit behind. And for accessorizing, she opted for loads of pearls. It's just dangling around the strapless corset top of the dress. Looks really nice. I love the color hue she went with. It suits her skin tone. Dramatic gele is also a nice touch. It was done by Taiwo's touch. Her strappy sandals, very beautiful as well. She looks well put together. I am going to rate Tokia a 7.5 out of 10 for this look. Mimi Onalaja is next on my list. She's wearing Daring Fabikunko. It's an Ashoke co-ord set with fringe detail on the jacket. This mix and match thingy going on in Burgundy. The lapel of the jacket has the stripe Ashoke. Also, combat pockets, the sleeve of the jacket, and her top band. Accessorizing was done with black in terms of her black clutch and her black strappy saddle. Jewelry metal tone was all gold. She had on gold necklace, gold earring, loads of rings, and bangles. Or oh, did I say bracelet? The oversized look, I understand where they were going in terms of creativity, but not the best fit on Mimi. Overall, though, she doesn't look bad. I'm going to rate her a 6.5 out of 10 for this. Ruth Kadiri opted for all black as her Owambe gangster look in this outfit by Official Swazi. It's a mini length dress with feathers on the lower half of it and the sleeves as well. The top part of the dress has this sheer net fabric. It has a low neckline but covered with the net fabric. Not necessarily covered but it has something over it. The of choice is this high heeled sandals with vinyl top. It has a clear top and her purse is a black with stone details. Earring though, she went with green. I'm glad that she didn't continue with the black theme, which added a pop of color. This is a green and gold combo chandelier earring. I love her hair, suits her very well. The fit of the dress on her looks nice. Her makeup was done by Oster's Place. Hair was styled by Martin Plush Hair. She looks really nice. I'm going to rate her a 7 out of 10 for her. This. Adunia Ade showed up in this Ankara and two combo skirt and blouse by Anne Cranberry. It consists of a satin top with off shoulder detail, and the neckline is made of two. It's high neck, looks nice. It also has like a corset thingy going on. While the skirt consists of Ankara in a mini length, and then the fabric underneath is made of black sheer tool basically. It's double layered for more volume, looks nice. Moving over to accessorizing, she opted for this black high heeled loops and this very dramatic purse that looks really nice. It has feathers, it has beads. Hair was styled by Martin Plush Hair. She also has on this bed cage veil that looks really nice. It just tied in everything pretty well. Makeup is very clean and fresh as well. I love the pop of color with the red lippy. Overall, she looks well put together. I'm going to rate Adini a 7.5 out of 10 for this look. Next person on my list is Oberi Hova. He looks like a king. And I'm here for this look by Henry Couture. It's an Ashoke Abada in green. Has some red as well, some white and um, navy blue, I would say. The embroidery on the Abada was done in bottle green. I also love the matching filler. Accessorizing was done with these two layered coral beads, the matching bangle, rings, his walking stick, and a brown velvet mule from Money Morgan Shoes. Very well put together, one of my best dressed meal. I'm going to rate him a 9 out of 10 for this. Stylist ate it. Amazing. Lala in Hue by Idera is the next person on my list. He's wearing this knee length jacket 
and taffeta i wouldn't say jacquard fabric with loads of feathers it is very colorful has colors like yellow green gold cobalt blue which is in right now for me this look is giving avant-garde very different from what we're used to seeing i wish the dress would have been fine too to fit her figure the sleeve length is too long the fit of the dress is a bit bogus on her photo of dress is this gold block heel strappy pom it has attracted the look really well I love her hair, I love her makeup. For this, I am going to rate Lala a 6 out of 10. Not my favorite look of her, but not the worst as well. Chama Apota's outfit disappointment was a blessing in disguise because she got to wear my attacko for the first time. She showed up in this teal floor length dress. It's a strapless dress and a showcase blazer. I can only imagine what the dress she had planned to um, wear looked like before the, <laughs> the disappointment. But yeah, she showed up in this. For as a surprising, she opted for a beret, a black sunglasses, this chunky necklace which I think wasn't needed at all. She should have left without it. This Ashoke blazer needed little to no accessorizing for it to shine through. The beret too wasn't needed as well. But overall she looked nice. For footwear she opted for white chunky sneakers and um, yeah that's it with this look. I'm going to rate her a 7 out of 10 for this. It would have been lower but for this blazer we jazzed up the look even more. I'm going to give her a 7 out of 10. Whew, this lady is next on my list. She has on a gold corset with, with, with dangling chains on it. It now has this tool thing that's also on the waistline. And then palazzo pants in silver. Accessorizing was done with silver paws. Red bandana, which I don't understand where it's coming from. Is that the gangster to the old one? Going for sports day. Why? Why do you have to do this? Beautiful girl like this. She's not even wore these sunglasses again. Accessorizing everywhere with her loads of silver rings on her ten fingers. I mean, her nine fingers. I mean, I mean, this is just giving. If there's anything this is giving, it's giving the Saleko girls in the movie. It's not giving anything old one bear um, gangster. I'm sorry, bro. I mean, I just have to be honest, not giving anything at all. I don't know who she is, but if you do, please let me know in the comment section. The color hue is clashing, gold, silver, pewter, all sorts, red, black on this one body. The corset is meant to be a more uh, elevated look, right? But with these pants, it just took it from 100 to less than zero. So, I mean, nah, -uh. no, 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 no. I'm going to rate her a 3 out of 10. Jay on air is the next person on my list. He's the social media sensation right now. I really enjoy his kits so much. Outfit by Isaac John Official. It's um, a navy blue pleather jacket in snake print. Yeah, he has silver buttons. Underneath that, you have this Ashoke pants in stripe, navy blue, sky blue with a matching top. Accessorizing was done with layered silver necklaces. Photo of choice is a chunky patent leather booty. For jewelry, he opted for a bunch of silver necklaces and this one that has the crucifix pendant. Loads of silver rings and a silver hoop on his ears. He opted for this spaceman sunglasses and this beanie in black. It's giving New York gangster, you know how those gangsters look, for those that have a look to their gangsterism. <laughs> but the old one bear, not a lot. I feel like they were trying to integrate it some way with the Ashoke, but it's not working. There's just a lot going on. It's too busy. Not my worst look though, but yeah, I'll just rate him a 5 out of 10 for this. Olaro Timi Fakunle that played the um, character Kazim in the movie is next on my list and he opted for this outfit that was created by the Perception Co. It's an orange jacket with fringe. Underneath that he went with all black just to give the jacket the room to shine even more. With this v-neck um, top and matching pants. Jewelry of choice is a chunky gold necklace, matching bracelets, a chain link gold watch, loads of rings and a walking stick. For footwear, he opted for these velvet loafers. He also has on a black velvet cap with gold embroidery details and sunglasses. He actually brought his role in the movie to the red carpet. I'm not seeing the old one bear part of it, but I'm actually seeing the gangsta part of the theme. For this look, I am going to rate him a seven 
actually a 6.5 out of 10. It's not tying so well together. Damilola Ogunsi, also a cast member of the movie, showed up in this white Damax Abada with black border. It also has details around the neckline with cross. I think it looks really nice. It was done by Jeff Auburn Clothing. He paired it with a black velvet cap also from the designer Jeff Auburn. Footwear of choice is this black Louboutin loafers. Looks really good. And um, for jewelry, opted for silver long necklace with a crucifix pendant, silver watch, Ankara beads by Matt Yenga on his wrist. One of my best dress. I love how different it is from the norm and the fit of it on him. Nice. Looks very well put together. He's given the gangster. He's given the O1 bear. I'm going to rate him a 9.5 out of 10 for this. Adesua Etomi is the next person on my list. I showed up in this tailored look by Anne Cranberry. It consists of a lime green ashoke jacket. Underneath that you have this corset with sweetheart neckline and then you can see the deconstructed collar thing going on. I think that is detachable the pants is made of i'm guessing duchess fabric right very dapper looking i like how wearable this is i love the mix of textures in terms of the fabric i love the color against her skin tone for footwear she opted for a nude pumps and it goes really well with the look her bag of choice is this gold evening bag with loads of stones just to highlight everything I think she looks amazing. The fit of it on her is nice. And if you know um, Adesua, you know that this is her MO in terms of look. She doesn't like, she just opts for things like this most of the time. I'm here for this look. It's given the gangsta, it's given Owan Bear well put together. I'm going to rate her an 8.5 out of 10 for this. Good job. Goma and ex Big Brother Housemate is the next person on my list. And he showed up in this um, suit set by BNV House. It's in purple double breasted jacket with a low neckline if boma has not showed his chest know that you have not started that event he must show his, his stones chest no problem it's a straight mark at this point for footwear he has on white lace-up sneakers accessorizing was done with this drop necklace that has i think zooming in is looking like the versace head i might be wrong and the shorter one has a crucifix pendant on his head, he has on this floral details scarf and for sunglasses, he opted for this one in black. <sighs> I don't know about this look. I just think that it's um, it's more, it's leaning more towards the gangster part and because I'm tired of seeing Boma's chest all the time, like just try something else. You have the physique, you have everything going for you, but I mean, are you not tired, baby? <laughs> to rate Boma a 6 out of 10 for this. A 5.5 out of 10, no. A 5.5 out of 10 for this look. Last person in this fashion rose is one of my best characters in the movie, Tayo Fanny Run, and um, he showed up in a black abada with nude embroidery on the neckline of the abada and the border of the pants. Footwear of choice is this brown mule with 4-4 detail kept it in same black hue with the filler accessorizing he opted for a black walking stick and black sunglasses jewelry he kept it very simple and just opted for a brown leather strap watch he just things off with a cigar and i think that just completed the look tattoos he has on both hands elevated the look even more in terms of the theme giving it the dark side that we're looking for and the look is the only one part of it i'm here for this look i am going to rate him 8 out of 10 for this and with that we've come to the end of the guest list and what they wore moving over to the best and worst dress category in terms of male my worst dress would definitely have to be Boma and Jay on Air actually, but with Jay on Air, I understand the creativity behind it. They brought some part of the o one Bear and the Gangster Reason trying to mesh it together. My worst dress meal category has to go to Boma. Worst dress female category, that lady that wore gold and pewter and red bandana. I don't know what was going on in her head, not giving anything I was supposed to give. I mean point blank period. Best dress category for the male department, Dami Lola has my boots. I love the um, Damax Abada. I also love the customization with the cross thing going on. It's giving everything it was supposed to give. I'm here for it. The color against the skin tone, black and white. Everything was done to 100 percent for me. Best dress for the red carpet of the Gangs of Lagos premiere.
Best dressed female, without a doubt, being bored at the module, she gave it her all. Her team understood the assignment and I'm totally here for it. The fit of the dress on her, not the dress actually, the co-ord on her, giving everything. It gave the right amount of sexiness, gave the right amount of o one bear, gave the right amount of gangsta. The hustler on the tie was a great addition. I love the bond that she held. Just the glasses, everything synced in so, so, so well. So those are mine. Over to you all. Who has your best and your worst dress vote? Let me know in the comment section for usual. You know how we do it. Also, let me know if you enjoyed this video by giving it a thumbs up, sharing, subscribing if you are yet to. You know I had to go out of my way to do this video for a few people. That shows how much I love you. Okay? My name is Chantal Ayao. Thank you so much for joining today. I will see you all in my next one. Bye. Bye.